friends welcome to guru knowledge channel kindly subscribe and click on the bell uh, bell icon for the latest updates uh, so today in this session we will be discussing about the most expected mcqs on the english pedagogy and the topic that i have chosen is learning and acquisition so let's see the first mcq so the first one is the way through which the art of using skill and practice is given to learn is called see uh, what the uh, question says is we have to see here about the skill and the practice the skill and the practice is learned through which method through learning the first option is learning acquisition erudition recitation so what is a recitation recitation means repeating of something from the memory recitation means repeating of something from the memory maybe uh, for example uh, you may be saying a poetry means it will be always it will be stored in your memory and you are going to repeat that is called as a recitation what is erudition erudition means what it is the knowledge that is acquired by the study or research right then what is acquisition acquisition means what it is the when a language is learned naturally now we are going to we can learn it naturally but without any systematic practice or a systematic method that is called as an acquisition okay then what is learning learning is what using skill and practice what is learning learning is the process of acquiring new skills or knowledge and it is also used for the improving the existing skills also so what will be the right answer i hope you might have understood the answer is let's see the next slide the answer is learning right so learning it is a process of acquiring new skills or knowledge and improving the existing skills also okay next one when language is learnt when language is learned naturally and without any systematic practice it is called as see the word that is what it is learned naturally without any systematic practice the word we can observe naturally and without any systematic practice naturally and systematic practice means what which is that i recently uh, just now said it is nothing but an which one learning learning is what skill skill and practice whereas acquisition is what it is the natural and systematic without systematic process okay and first learning means that takes place at our home like uh, in our um, uh, in our home or it might be in the school erudition i again said erudition is nothing but the knowledge that is acquired by the study or research so what will be the answer the answer will be acquisition right okay next state which is not true in context of learning and acquisition observe there is a word what question they have asked the ans they have asked is not true which is not true in context in related to what learning and acquisition okay so the first option is acquisition is a natural process is acquisition a natural process just now i said yes acquisition is a natural process and it is done without any systematic process no systematic process will be involved in acquisition okay yes so this is right then second one option b is learning is a continuous process does learning it is a continuous process yes it cannot be acquired immediately or instantly it is a continuous process okay next learning results in subject proficiency does while learning the subject proficiency do we earn do we achieve the subject proficiency yes we do learn, we do earn a subject proficiency next d what is that acquisition helps in cognitive abilities what they have said Co acquisition helps in cognitive ab abilities does this um, does this acquisition helps in cognitive abilities let's see what will be the answer no it does not helps in the cognitive abilities next 
learning a language is a the option is gradual process last process instance process all inclusive process is learning a language an inclusive process no is it an instance process instance means immediately can it happen can we learn a language immediately no can it be the last process is there any end to the learning of a language no it will happen continuous it will be a continuous process right yes then is it a gradual process what is a gradual process gradual process means what it is a slow process yes or no so gradual process slow process means it is a continuous process right so what will be the answer the answer will be the gradual process right next the acquired system or acquisition of a language is the the options given are formal skills development subconscious process input output process self monitoring of learning right what they have asked is they have asked the acquired system the acquired system or an acquisition acquired or an acquisition how can you acquire in the previous uh, the questions also in an mcqs also we have seen that what is that acquisition acquisition means how you uh, you are going to learn the language naturally right you uh, it will not be learned in a formal way so what is the first one formal skills term can it be learned in a formal skill no it cannot be learned can it be learned with a subconscious process that we will see whether it can be learned or not next input output process is it an input output process no self monitoring of learning can in an acquisition when, uh, when you are learning the language naturally can you self monitor yourself no so what will be the answer subconscious pr uh, process subconscious process means what whatever uh, means in a day to day life you will be learning without knowingly or unknowingly you are going to learn something uh, in your environment itself whatever environment is provided within that environment only you will be you will learn something and without knowing or unknowingly so that is what it is called as subconscious process so what will be the answer the answer will be the subconscious process next one a critical period during language learning is so they have asked what is a critical period what is a critical period during the language learning so what are the option the first option is special time set aside for students to intensively practice language use is it a special time that is set for students to intensively practice the language use b the period during which language can be acquired with greater ease than any other time option c the length of the time before a comprehensive assessment takes place in class d best preparatory period for any language project so uh, so these are the options so which will be the critical period see what is the first option says the special time that is set for the students to intensively practice the language is there any specific time that is set for a uh, set for the students to practice the language no right next is what uh, let's see the um, d option best preparatory method for any any language project is there any preparatory method is it a preparatory method for any language project no the length of the time before a comprehensive assessment takes place in the class is it the uh, the critical period is called as the comprehensive assessment time uh, sorry com uh, it is the length of the time that is before uh, taking any comprehensive assessment that takes place in the class is that no then what is that the period during which language can be acquired with greater ease than any other time it means that in a critical period i hope you might have uh, guess the answer the, uh, the what is the critical period the critical period is the the period during which what language it can be acquired with very easily it can be acquired with a greater ease than any other time okay next seventh one when children first start to speak in sentences their speech may be described as see there are different types of speeches okay they are, they are described when and it is when you have to observe see when the ch when the children first start to speak so their speech may be described as first one is multilingual second is babbling third is exceptionally 
and D is telegraphically. So what it is called as we have to remember. What is the answer? In multilingual means two languages. Babbling means what? What is babbling? We will see. Exceptionally telegraphic. Is it a telegraphic? No. So what will be the answer? The answer will be babbling. Babbling means the small children when they start speaking, they are going to babble. Means uh, the words will not be clear. So that's uh, what is what the the small childs or the kids when they start speaking that is called as babbling. Next is for a small child words are what are the options? An effective tool of communication. B is best way to express the feelings. C is all of the above. D is none of the above. For a small child, what is the question? For a small child, words are what are the words? For a small child, what are words? Are they an effective tool of communication? B option, best way to express the feeling. Or C, all of the above. Or D, none of the above. What would be the answer? I hope you might have guessed. The answer is all of the above. In all of the above means it is the words. It is used for the sake of what? Communication. What is that? An effective tool of communication also. Words means through the words only we can communicate effectively. And it is also the best way to express the feelings. Next. Ninth one, according to yogurt's learning, is learning in a child or an adult takes place due to, due to what, due to what's, due to what. So the options are inborn abilities, scientific attitude, C is social interaction and D is introduction of a stimulus. See they have asked about the yogurt's, yogurt's in an, uh, according to the yogurt's concept of learning and acquisition, According to him, uh, his opinion was that social interaction, it played an important role in the development of cognition. Okay. And according to him, community, community, community also played an important role. Community also played an important role. So community means what? You will get this the scientific uh, sorry the social interaction so in it is not an inborn abilities not a scientific attitude not a not a sign sorry not a scientific attitude or c is social interaction d is introduction to stimulus so the answer will be I hope you might have guessed when it is a community it will be a social interaction so according to the yogurt's concept of learning and acquisition the social interaction it plays an important role in the development of cognition and the community it also plays an central role next and the last question according to Piaget according to Piaget learning occurs due to Piaget, according to the Piaget's, what will uh, what is the learning of course due to in both speaking skills, stimulus recognition, assimilation and adaptation, and D is scientific investigation. So, what would be the answer for this? According to Piaget's, what is the uh, according to him, assimilation and adaptation. According to the Piaget's, the concept of learning and acquisition is assimilation and adaption means through the adaptation the child will adapt immediately the child whatever he adapts according to that only he is going to learn so the answer is assimilation and adaptation so, thank you kindly uh, keep watching uh, guru knowledge channel kindly subscribe and click on the bell icon for the further updates i'll be key uh, i'll be updating on the tt mcqs thank you